Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jade Empire walkthrough. Once again, we are in Lord Lao's furnace. Uh, I'm not sure, we can't have too many configurations left. I think I only had one other one, and that was uh, configuration of the ox. And I don't know if I've got the right fuel or not for it. I guess we'll see here. Uh, kind of looks A like not. A most intriguing place. I'm betting that I'm going to head back. But uh, <clears throat> Very well. one thing that you have to know for I sure about um, Lord Lowe's first, and it'll come into play quite machine. a bit later, but there is bring us back here there's later. a specific formation, or sorry, um, uh, well, no, I can't remember the names of those. Configuration. Wow, that was tough. Um, there's actually two of them, and uh, it's the last ones that you'll, that you'll get, and uh, unfortunately you have to pick one of the two. And uh, once we actually get there, you know, I'll, I'll bring it up again. It's it's not something that you have to really worry about, you know, for quite some time. But uh, but yeah, just keep in mind that um, you know, for the final, the final configuration, uh, or uh, I should say, of the the final two, you'll have to pick one over the other. All right. Um, <clears throat> here in the, uh, Imperial City, I know I, I speak to the, to the guy up here, the outcrier, eventually, I guess. What are we doing here? Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Busy, busy, busy. busy, busy. busy. No for chatty, no chatty. For chatty, chatty. <laughs> certainly, certainly, always willing to take the marvelous dragonfly for a jaunt. Pick your place, and we will be there in no time. All right, so um, <clears throat> you can you can actually fly back and forth still from Tian's Landing to uh, the Imperial City. That uh, that won't be the case forever, though. So uh, you know, there'll be a <clears throat> excuse me, there'll be kind of like a no a, a point of no return. And uh, we're, we're not really anywhere near there, but uh, just, just keep that in mind. And then um, the other thing is if you fly back and forth what between the two you cities, have. you can actually get you experience don't see any of that, that way. Design about the city. Uh, I believe there's Since a limit to how many trips you can make back and forth, but I think it's quite a few. So that's Allow another good way to get a bunch of uh, experience right now. I am by the outcrier, and I am here to direct you around our illustrious capital if you have any questions at all. It would be an honor to say that I aided someone who was greeted by Princess Sun Lian herself. There are several districts within easy walking distance. This area is the market district, and it is filled with all sorts of merchants and traffic. If you cross the waterway and turn left, you will soon come to the Gate of the Golden Way, a rich and luxurious place. The Golden Way is connected to both the Scholar's Garden at its far end and the Necropolis, though no one would venture into those burial grounds without good reason. Just over there is the Imperial Arena, where you can test your skills in the finest competition in the land, or grab a drink at the heart of the Empire Tavern within. Out by the waterway, you can find the city gates and all manner of merchants hawking their wares. There's also a path off the Market District that leads up to the Black Leopard School, home to an ancient order that studies the ways of combat. The Scholar's Garden is a wonder to behold. It is decorated with rocks taken from the Valley of Sprightly Stones. The finest minds in the Empire congregate in the garden. If you have a taste for history, the Necropolis is accessible from the Golden Way as well. A city of the dead, the Necropolis is filled with tombs of rich and poor alike. If you were wise, you would not look for the Lotus Assassins. They keep their secrets close, and even spreading rumors can catch their attention. I'm a fool for even starting this conversation, but I will give you some guidance. There are rumors of a secret entrance into a fortress the Lotus Assassins call their own. The entrance may be in the Necropolis, which is off the Golden Way. If you're smart, you'll go no closer to that place than this question. Was there something else you wanted to discuss?
There's almost always something happening in the city. There's Captain San, of course, standing guard at the gates out of the city. Word has it the captain has some bounties. Rich rewards for those who can track down some wanted criminals. You must know about the Imperial Arena. Kui, the promoter, is always looking for skilled fighters to participate in his matches. It's this huge building right here. There's word from the Scholar's Garden that some strange outlander has taken up residence there, causing quite the ruckus, as barbarians typically do. There's a rumor floating around that the Black Leopard School has been having some difficulties recently. Feuding masters, that sort of thing. The Black Leopard School lies across the waterway and up the grassy path, if you're curious. Word has it there's going to be a new play happening sometime soon in the Golden Way District, over at the large pagoda on the left side of the road. It might not be ready to start yet, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye out for. That's all. I know many people in the city, but it is impossible to know everyone. Who do you see? I'm sorry, I can't say I know anyone by that name. Maybe you can look up at the Black Leopard School, across the waterway and up the grassy path. That is not funny. We do not discuss that man. The Emperor's brothers are a very sensitive subject, and I won't discuss this further. I know you're new to the Imperial City, but the Lotus Assassins are everywhere. They do not tolerate treason or sedition, and casual questions can be viewed as such. A pleasure to be of service. Enjoy your stay here. And uh, I believe if you are going the closed fist route, you can... There's a little dialogue option there, I think. Like, there's an intimidation check, and you can uh, make him tell you about something. I can't quite remember what it was. And uh, But I don't remember if you get more... Remember if you get, like, more experience or more money or something out of him. But um, here, I would say that uh, it may not be a bad idea actually to skip the Imperial Re Arena at first and head more to the Scholar Gardens. Uh, but first, first I should say, uh, pick up the... Um, actually, no, that doesn't matter. Uh, I think what you what you either need to or what you need to do is either decide. Um, there, there's a point there where you meet up with uh, the princess, and then after that, you'll decide whether or not to. Uh, join the the Lotus Assassins um, and the, the like. They're uh, the Executioner, or I forget their other one. Uh, we'll, we'll do them both. But um, at a certain point there, then that activates a quest. That's in, why my men brought you to me. Uh, I wanted the, to finish uh, this personally. Is it the market I, district? Yeah, I think it's the market don't district. Don't even try to make this better. And uh, we'll be able to get a gem that increases the, the money that we get that from or the silver that you get from human opponents. So I would recommend trying to go for that right away. Joe, uh, uh, honestly, to I to get get the most out of <laughs> that gem. And uh, again, you're gonna need to speak with the princess though first. So I would say, you know, do that first before you do this. You stuff, needed something you for to witness it one. You know, activate this quest. Yes, I need to speak with you in private. Because it I, seems think, uh, I think what I ended up doing here was to retire. fighting in the arena, and I think there's some human opponents there, and I, you know, could have maximized maximized my money uh, or cash uh, if I would have if I would have waited to do this stuff until after I had got that gem. <clears throat> I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. You can see for yourself, I was just retired from the Imperial Arena. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. <laughs> A little introduction to the arena there. Uh, there's a scroll stand back here on the Imperial Champions. All right, the Ravager refuses to speak and shows no care for the crowd. Uh, and then uh, the Raging Ox. All right, so. 
Imperial City fondly remembers Raging Ox, our recently retired Imperial Champion. Ox's legend will live for many lifetimes. And uh, that's actually kind of important. You know, there's a little there's a little important backstory there. So you just have to remember the contrast between the Ravager and the Raging Ox. It's kind of neat. And then uh, Kylan, I believe he kind of runs the... Yeah. Kylan played to the crowd to cultivate a love-hate relationship that has per persisted to this day. Um, and Kylan's kind of running things these days. He's, uh, I don't, Welcome. It's I don't always he's good to see a new face at the counter. Well, yeah, he's not Silver technically Spanda. the current happy champion. happy to help you out. <clears throat> I'm known as Thunder's uh, Tower, uh, and you are what my is his most name? honored the Ravager. right now, so you have he's actually all the current of champion. You look like a warrior to my and, eye. Probably uh, not I think the odds one of these guys the down here takes bets, but up. you can't ever, you can't ever bet. The man Once you become a, and, Kui, the one, promoter. He Once you become actually a, uh, this place. might even be looking for a, a new body to fill out the roster. This could be your chance. So this guy tells you that you need to talk to Quee the promoter to, to like get into the betting Stop and then Quee Lan the promoter the ends up recruiting you. So then when you come back to this you guy he basically to. tells you that since you fight in the arena you can't bet. So <laughs> so you can never actually bet in the arena here. Uh, there is a gambling game upstairs that I don't know too much about other than if you win like 20 straight times the guy blows up or something like that. Uh, I never really did it. Never really, how dare you never really got into me. that, and I don't know how much money you can get out of the guy, if you, you know, for winning. But know, um, I lustful Lao, conqueror of the female kingdom, was Lao. emanating my yang. It is but one of my many irresistible charms. You don't see my brimming knowledge of the two hundred and thirty-two points of pleasure, as documented by Men Shi Zhao, the salacious scholar. Or that I perform these stretches outlined in the writings of the now disbanded lascivious order of the abbotless monks every morning? If even these simple things are beyond your ken, sir, then Lustful Lao has no time to spare on you. <laughs> Alright, and Lustful Lao there, I don't think he's really Remember Jing Yu anything, back in no. two rivers? He talked to fight it's not really important. I think the, if you're day. a female character, he'll hit he on you or something like that? And then uh, what was a dancer was talking about Jing Wu and uh, him wanting to fight in the Imperial yes. Arena. I like to think that we can. All right, here's another uh, romance important dialogue uh, continuation, I suppose. That is not really necessary. Okay, maybe right not. <laughs> I was wrong. I was completely wrong. I've That's her. Like, I don't oh. have anything else to add right now. <laughs> we just have to keep going. Have That's keep all going. we can do. That's all we can do. Um, I believe after, actually, I think Donstar's next romance option or dialogue or however you want to put it, uh, is after you speak with the princess on the way to the Scholar's Garden. And, um, you'll definitely want to speak to her right after, right after that. Uh, a couple things back here, got a little bit of silver and a scroll stand on the, can the Cannibal Cookbook. Uh, I don't know what they were going for here. Uh, like, you know, this, this cookbook is supposed to be in relation to the cannibals from earlier? Uh, I'm not so sure. Her meal was first discovered after you, Lamb, the hunter, stumbled upon our community. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Our community? For five to ten people, just one leg. The other can be pickled for later, roasted slowly. Oops, she's both of an alt. Yeah, oh, yeah, this sounds definitely like... Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, that sure sounds <laughs> sure sounds like something from the uh, the cannibals. And that's pretty messed up that you find that scroll here. In We're the, always in the, out of camera. Uh, the kitchen of the Imperial Arena. Kind of weird. Uh, Z Bao is a uh, take note away. of that guy. It will be important later on. Actually, for the quest that I was talking about earlier, too. I was wondering if you'd um, <clears throat> test your luck. You know, after it's after you speak with the, the princess about joining the, dice, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the Imperial Get or the uh, the Lotus Assassins, I run the uh, quest dice should. In the I, I believe I've got the timing right. I but the quest should open up after that. Silver, would I? 
Good odds and fair play. That's how I keep them coming back. All right. Um, so yeah, here's the gambler guy. Uh, again, now I don't, I, I don't have really any experience with this guy at all. I, I vaguely remember trying. Uh, You're not here to Trying play. way back when, like you know, what years and years ago, when I, for, one of the first times I played the game. And I think I saved beforehand. You, take care of yourself and come back soon to you know, and then I talked to him and see. tried betting, and I think I always lost or something like that. So I was like, eh, okay, well I'm done. So I didn't want to lose any money. I mean, who wants to lose money, right? <clears throat> Sorry, big boy. I'm not. Uh, gentle breezes here Judge is Fangs important. Got me on his a little payroll, while later. And he doesn't like me taking customers. And again, that's side. once we, you know, decide Unless you're which into path we're going to take to join then the he Royal Society. So. Fangs always looking I guess for some new perversion to make his little soldier stand at attention. My name is Gentle Breezes, but everyone just calls me Breezes now. I guess you lose your gentle side when you spend too many nights with Judge Fang. Fang's my benefactor, if you know what I mean. I do all the things that make him happy. Filthy, nasty things. But at least that sick bastard pays well. Judge Fangs, the head of the Ministry of Harmony. He's sitting in the next room with his guards, likes to come and watch the arena fights. The blood and the beatings in the ring get his fever burning for later. Sometimes that bastard takes it out on me. Other times he makes me take it out on him. He doesn't seem to care either way. There are few things more twisted than Judge Fang's idea of a fun night. I hate him. He's a vile, repulsive deviant. He likes to hurt. When things are bad, a man like that leaves scars, emotional and physical. Look, I've been around. I know people do strange and disturbing things behind locked doors. But nothing like this. There's no act too brutal or shameful for Judge Fang. He's into all sorts of things, and he's no stranger to pain. I know that all too well. I've thought about quitting. Every night. But I heard what happened to the last girl who tried to leave Fang. He's not the kind of man you just walk away from. He... He sees me as a possession. His possession. He's not just going to let me go. He's got the wealth and power to find me wherever I run. I'm stuck with Judge Fang until he's tired of me. I've come to accept that. It's a hard, grim fact. But at least he pays well. Fang's head of the Ministry of even he's the most infamous degenerate. Go ahead. It's not like I'm going to tell you anything that isn't common knowledge. Good. Let me rest. I've got a feeling I'm in for a long night tonight. All right. So, uh, General Breezes there obviously uh, paints a colorful picture of Judge Fang. Who I believe is, yeah, he's back there behind the guards. You can't speak to him. At least not yet. And uh, here in this room is where a bunch of the, Another the uh, guys that fight in the, the Imperial Arena are at. Soldier, you can talk to them and do a little bit of backstory what in all the empire uh, behind all of them. Want? Some of them are interesting, some of them not so much. Questions? I'm going to waste my time on a pathetic dirt kicker like yourself? Not a chance. <laughs> And please, don't bother firing yourself up to challenge me out of some fool notion of pride. Things aren't done that way here. The guards stop all fighting unless it happens in the pit, or they want it to happen. It must be hard working yourself into that foul a temper each day. If you hate pretty much everyone, it's easy enough. Just leave me alone. I don't talk to spectators.
Wu suai il su su no. Wu tarawi ir, kupki tir sa nir naur kurk, wu pan. Kop awuka i nir, wu afawafi i thaturo turo uk. The kawa ir ap u ofir wo wo wir wa fonui unka. U tarawi ir kupki tir sa nir naur kurk u pan. U yo ir naur ir kuno urk nuko uk kin kin pi ir ukir ifu. Nara ir kop awuka inir. U afawafi i thaturo turo uk. Nara ir uk na pir sonkut, u sa të tir të të si ir u ju. Jawar ir, u sua ir su su no. Pier koinir riki no. U jo ir, nawar ir kuno urk nuko uk, kin kin pi ir ukir ifu ir wo. Jawar ir, u taro ir. Kop awuka in. Hello there, I'm Han. Though fans and, well, everyone else call me hapless, Han. It's not such a bad thing. Fighting in the lower divisions means I never run afoul of the Ravager. Our current champion has nearly killed his last two opponents. See, I look on the bright side of things. Even if my losses make people call me hapless, are numbers really that important? In my mind, it's trying your best that counts. You know, looking at you, I'd say you could hold your own in the arena. Are you thinking of signing up or was there something else you need? You need to talk to Kui, the promoter. He'll start you out. It'll be great to have someone new around the place. You're new to this arena, aren't you? I'm happy to help you out. Do you want to know how to sign up, or are you just curious about the events? Every warrior here starts out in the qualifying round, where they face a lot of the hopefuls. If you're doing well, you'll end up facing me. After that, there are the bronze, silver, and gold divisions, each of which has its own champion and unique trials. I'm sure Kui the promoter can outline those for you. I'm sure you can find your way around, but I've been here all my life. I can tell you about the scholars, the common folk, and even a bit about the Emperor himself. Emperor's son is a savior to the Empire. He created a never-ending supply of water for us. It's just too bad his daughter isn't a bit more respectful of tradition. Then again, her father has changed the way things are done, so I suppose that's to be expected. He sealed himself away in the palace. When in the time of the drought, he was a leader and an inspiration. It's a shame that he's become so private. At his last appearance, he seemed so full of life. It was like he hadn't aged a day in 20 years. Perhaps trying to curtail his daughter keeps him young. Princess Leon is a willful child, they say. Don't take that to mean I know her personally, but everyone says she's willful. But to be fair, that could be good in a ruler. Still, you have to respect tradition. I'm... Uh, not exactly sure what she's done that's so bad, but I know it set the nobles aflame with gossip. He sealed himself away in the palace. It's a shame that he's become so pro... It was... I agree, and I would never question the Emperor. He is a visionary leader. It's just that before, we could see where he was leading. Still, I see what you're saying. Look at the endless flow of water he brought to the Empire. It's new, and he changed the face of the palace to pour the water forth to the lands. The first change to the palace since the time of Sagacious Chen, in fact. That's a good reason to break with tradition, and one we all understood. Hiding himself away, however? That's something no one understands, and that isn't right. Right you are. Take care. 
Fascinating. How very interesting to meet you. Fate may have robbed me of my sight at a young age, but I can still sense the energy within your meridians. Impressive, and yet somewhat strange. I don't know what it is about you exactly, but I would say you have been trained like no other warrior in this place. What I do know is that several of the techniques pioneered by what we call the New Schools would have astonishing effects on one with your energy. Allow me a formal introduction. I am Dr. Ahn, acupuncturist. I think I've read a treatise of hers on the healing arts. It was one of the few we had in Two Rivers. It was brilliant. It is an honor to meet you, ma'am. Such a beautiful voice, and combined with a quick mind. I'd hold on to her if I were you. Acupuncture is the process of healing the body through the release of its own energies. There are other applications, such as an understanding of the pressure points of the body as well. I release these healing energies through the very precise insertion of needles into the skin. It truly is an art. Acupuncture is also most ancient science, studied as long as the empire has stood. Those studies benefit the warriors in this place most directly. How can you fight in the dark? We learn these things through study and discipline. The nerves of the hand are incredibly sensitive. The eyes can be fooled by something as insubstantial as light. I would not say that losing my sight at a young age was a gift, but I have not let it become a burden either. My techniques for releasing your untapped inner energies are newer and slightly more radical, but even they benefit from a century of research and years of practice. Put simply, your body possesses incredible energies, some of which can fall out of balance, putting the body at risk of disease. Acupuncture releases blockages in your body's meridians, natural pathways for this energy, allowing your body to restore its balance. The new schools have found ways to optimize the body's energy pathways to make you stronger than you would be normally. You would have to practically abandon your pursuit of martial prowess to understand them more fully, but you have other skills to hone. Of course, only through the broadening of our conversations can we broaden our minds. Dr. Ann here, or Dr. Ann, however you want to say her name. Uh, she's got some good, good, some good techniques to learn here. Here's, a, here's the best one. Health plus 15 and focus plus 5. It's pretty, pretty decent, and of hers, obviously, so it's the most expensive. It's also, I feel like it's the best. There's the next one, uh, health plus 10, she minus 2, definitely worth the payoff, in my mind, anyway. And uh, we'll see, clear, clear minds definitely sounds like it's going to boost our mind stat, am I right? Uh, focus plus 10 and intimidation minus 1, which is great. Uh, intimidation is not one of the... The uh, skills I make use of, and uh, even even if that was, that would say that that was a definite payoff that would be worth it. And then here, the final porcelain skin again. I use charm the most, I think, of all of my um, conversation skills. So that's another that's another really good one, I think, to to pick up. But uh, that's a, it was a huge chunk of cash there. That we just spent. <clears throat> uh, what was it? Ten thousand plus. However much that last one was, two thousand. Intolerable. So the 12, One more mistake, tw Queen, I'll have you retired. So. Finding someone else is your problem. But enough. Find a solution and leave me alone. This is not an approbate time to. Wait a moment. You, you have the look of a fighter about you. Those hands, that stance, even your eyes, I'd know that look anywhere. You must be here to join the most glorious contest in the Empire. Isn't it fortunate that Lucky Cho and I were just discussing how this place needs an infusion of new blood? Master Lee used to say that the arena was once the greatest contest in the Empire, but that it has been corrupted in recent years. Come with me a moment, and we'll engage Tate in some dissertation about the best decision you'll ever make.
This is turning out to be an excellent day, most ostentatious indeed. I apologize if I'm using words beyond your grasp. Very few people can match either the supply or the command of my language. Strong build, good shoulders, not half bad looking either. You've got what it takes to make it in today's arena. The question is, can you fight? Are you worthy of the arena? I say the answer is a clarion and resoundering yes. I've heard that you were asking around and talking to some of our best and brightest. Your interest tells me all that I need to know about you. What say we get you signed up for the greatest attraction in all the Empire? The arena awaits. That's the spirit of the thing. Now, what name precedes you in your travels? Uh, right, a, a fine name. A fine name indeed. But it won't sell. Not at all. We need something more memorable for the crowds. Think of something that would sound engaging, ringing down from the rafters. That's how we'll bill you. Raging Dragon, huh? Sounds fast and powerful. I like it. Are you positive that's what you want? Then that is what you shall have. Come and tell me when you're ready for a fight and I'll get you started. Since you're new, you'll start in the qualifying rounds. The money's small at that level, but it's there. Any other questions? One other thing. You should talk to the other fighters now and then. They will be watching you, and you should get to know them as well. We're all one big happy family. You're a big happy idiot, Han. As you can see, they always have something to say. For your first match, we'll start you off against a mighty ogre. I'll be watching your style closely to see how you fare. Impress me, and I'll take you to the top. Even our great champions start out against the ogre. Take Raging Ox, who danced around the beast singing drunkenly to earn the crowd's favor, or the Ravager, who defeated him in a single blow. I should take a moment and explain the system we use here. That's the spirit. Dive right in with both feet first. It's not that difficult a system, and you seem bright enough to figure it out. Are you ready to get started? If that's the decision right, so you want to make, like him, hate him. Profanity. You know the way he talks. I think he's just hilarious. Let me know when you change um, your mind. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll we'll get into the actual arena and the fights I'm probably the next episode. You're ready to start We're going to talk career, to Kim Jin Kana here at the end, but I'm going to cut it here. So like, comment, subscribe if you want to do. Hope the guys are helpful. Hope you're liking them. Hope you join for more. Alright. Sa wir nis to ku wir wuk. A yer fun. Sa yer yer wu nis yer tin tin. Uksi yer wa tua fun ni yer froto uso sa wir. Uk tatas yer. Uk wiro nis sa yer tatas yer uju. Wo na wir si yer fun ni win yer nakan. Tier nik puntu yer. Po yer noka uk. Sa yer takit yer noni. Uxir, what to afu? Froetro soir, foirir, nsonsi, noca uk frotir noni. Uktatasir ni rioki.
Oxa ir caritas fonir si sair ir furc tatasir, ir carano sa cupono. Wo ifu ir ux sunurc danoe na waf tatasiruc, kitir noni. Wono ir ifu ir ux was saf no sisitu. Qua ir nisisir sisitu. Sayer u yu. Uk wiro ni sayer tatasi yer u wo na wir si yer fu ni win yonakan. Wo sa wayer noka uk rapro ni apawafa son si yer tu wiro. Uk wiro ni say tier nik puntu yer po wir noka uk. Wo yo wir shakes here, what? 